What's up, Modern Stedders? Today's Friday. You know what Friday is? Modern Stedder update. You know what? It feels like it's been a while since we've done any videos with the animals. It's because we've been working on the outdoor kitchen. So now we can do a little bit of animal videos. And we can give you an update of everything that's been going on. There's been a lot. So stay tuned. We're going to move Rufus and his girls to some fresh grass. <laughs> The lady we bought these Icelandic chickens from, she had them in her barnyard and she would just let them roam. I don't think they had much grass to eat. So when we got them, they would just scratch and peck the grass and like the thatch, like a lawn to thatch, they wouldn't eat it. I'll tell you what, in the last few weeks, they've been eating a lot of grass. There's not just, there's not the pile of um, grass clippings like there used to be, so they're actually eating it, which is awesome. Good morning. The chicks and the ducklings are doing awesome. Let's move them to some fresh grass too. Now they've made a pretty good sized mess with their food, so I'm only going to pull the chicken tractor halfway forward, so that way their food will stay there and they can eat it throughout the day. I'll make them clean it up. They're loving that fresh grass. But see now with our style chicken tractor, I can stand and pull and the food's right there. I know when to stop. I can see all that and I can watch my chicks. None of them got ran over. Look at the ducklings. Let's go back inside and we'll show you the chicks and you guys can take some more guesses to figure out what breed you think they are. We got barred rocks, and that's the only breed I'm 100% sure on. There's a little guy, like in the grass. You can see how tall the grass is. And I moved this yesterday afternoon. Look how much they've eaten down of it already. So it's hard for me to think about selling the pullets and getting and not having them because they do a great job eating our grass for us, mowing it, fertilizing it. And then it's just making some awesome chicken. That meat and bone broth that they're gonna make, or eggs, is just gonna be so good for you. What are you doing, Pluto? You having fun? Look like you're all wet. I lightly mowed this area yesterday. 
just to keep this grass not so high for the chicks. But the tall grass right now, the broad rocks are loving it. Make sure that's off. Before we let them out, we'll get the water going. All the rain the other day helped us fill up our water for New York City, which is good, we were getting low. I see a duck egg. Let's get rid of the. Let's feed them first, and then we'll go get the egg. We got a whole bunch of the goodness in here for him today. Some leftover food scraps. I'll we'll have fun with that. We got a couple apples in here that fell from the tree overnight. They'll eat those this afternoon. They knocked the water out. Hey, it's not a pool. But look at that. They laid an egg right in there. And silly ducks. The ducks are so funny with their eggs. Shut this off. That's right, that's your little pool. Turn the fence back on for the day. Let's check on the Pig pen garden. We haven't had much time to get over here and do any weeding or mulching. That's my fault, but we've been busy with so much other stuff, but I'll tell you what, it's still growing loads of food. Look at this zucchini. I must have missed it the other day. It's amazing how fast they grow. Boom. I saw another one right here. Where'd it go? They blend in. It's funny, you see them one minute and then the next minute you can't find them again. There's one right here. Right there. Little one starting there. I saw another big one somewhere else. Nice size one right there. Good size one there. That could. We better pick it before we forget about it. These are one of those plants you forget about it and the next thing you know it's a monster. And you gotta feed it to the pigs. I got a nice cucumber right there. These cucumbers are gonna be fun to find. I didn't get a chance to Put the cattle panels in to trellis them up, which was my bad, but we don't have time to do everything we want. So we'll be searching through tall grass. There's another one. And if they get too big, I guess the pigs and the chickens will get to enjoy them. These are just going crazy. But this garden's doing good and we've never done anything. The only thing we've done to this garden is we put the transplants in. We haven't watered them. We haven't weeded it, as you can tell. But the weeds out there aren't really that bad. 
It's just out front, it's really not weeds, it's more grass. It's coming into the lawn. I think I'm gonna pick this cucumber. It'll be our first one. It's not a bad sized cucumber. I know a lot of people have been asking about the design for the outdoor kitchen and do I have plans and stuff. They're up here and the biggest reason is, is I'm trying to keep them loose. I've been working on getting different materials that were upcycling to get them to work. Right here we have three eight foot by eight foot Pella sliding glass doors. And I want to get them to work in the outdoor kitchen. So I don't want to set in stone my plans. I want to be able to work with these different materials and get them to work and make the outdoor kitchen the best we can and the best price and save stuff from going to the landfill. That's where those doors were headed, just like the trusses. Let's go check on the hay bale gardens over here. I see a zucchini. That one's pretty long and narrow. We'll leave that for now, I could pick it. I'm assuming these are summer squash plants. We just haven't gotten any yet. Our summer squashes are... The buds keep falling off that one. Huh. Summer squashes are a little behind. The potatoes are doing nice. I can't wait to see what we harvest out of there. Ooh, I see a couple of summer squashes. Zucchini. Once, we, once we're able to pick a couple of our summer squashes, we'll have to cook up the recipe that the Rhodeses were talking about that they really loved. I saw a zucchini on the back side right here. Tiny little plant, but a good sized zucchini. Good thing we like zucchini. The winter squashes are doing good. They're right here growing up nicely. Be exciting to get those later on. When we were out traveling about for Olivia's birthday, we stopped at a Goodwill and we found a professional grade Cuisinart food processor for five bucks. We'll be using that with our zucchini. So what we do a lot with our zucchini that we don't end up eating we put it in the food processor, chop it up, and freeze it. And then we have it all throughout the year for making zucchini bread, zucchini muffins, zucchini whoopie pies. Just take it out of the freezer, you're ready to go. It works awesome. We have saved the dead cherry that we cut up, and we'll use that for firewood cooking or smoking. Here's the outdoor kitchen. The trusses are all up, the strapping's up, the main beams are up, we have some more to do. With the metals ordered, that should be here in a few more days. It'll be nice to get this roofed and have this all under cover. We do want to put some braces up in the corners. There'll be like a 45 here, here. There'll be six, it'll be one, two, three, four here, <clears throat> one here, and here. This ends, there'll be some more, and there'll be another post somewhere. But I gotta figure out exactly how the doors are gonna work here. So that's why there's no braces and there's not more posts right now. There will be. But we're working on the design and layout still, trying to get the materials that we've just gotten recently to work. Let's go check and see how good the pigs are doing. We're not gonna let them out, we gotta go to work in a little bit, but we're gonna go see how they're doing. They're loving that automatic feeder. Good morning, Mrs. Pigs and Spots. How are we doing? Got plenty of food in there. They're growing nicely. They're as much feed as they want. Hay in there for bedding if they want. They can lie in the cool, wet mud from all the rain we've gotten recently. And they come out here, they have plenty of fresh greens to eat and apples. It's the oddest thing, they love making their beds in the briar patches. I don't know why.
Is that good? The apple trees are just loaded with apples this year. We're keeping our eyes out, we're trying to find an apple cider press. Every tree is like that here. Let's go check on the raised bed gardens. So our tomatoes are coming in really nicely. I want to show you something and let me know what you think it is. We can't figure it out. So our tomatoes aren't touching the ground. We don't have blight. And the bottoms are just all black and rotted. Here's one. They're just, what do you think's causing that? We'd love to know. If you know, just share it with us and leave it in the comments down below. We have some beautiful tomatoes coming in and we hate to lose any of them. But we're getting a good crop of tomatoes so far. Our onions are looking nice. The broccoli is just taking it hard, just the time of the year. Our cabbage over here has gotten hit with the Japanese beetles, but they're going to come back. This one's doing nice. Getting some peppers coming. The green beans are starting to come in. And the purple ones are doing even better. Those are beautiful. It is funny how they're purple right now, but as soon as you cook them up, they turn green. We have our other onion patch over here. These ones are doing much better. These we started right outside. Those are doing nice. They still got a little while to go, but we got plenty of time in our growing season. Just gonna let them grow. Strawberries, these are more for next year, but the plants themselves are doing beautiful. A lot of times when you're growing stuff, you gotta remember, it takes more than one season. Like the strawberries, we planted them this year. We didn't get any strawberries from them this year. Blueberries, same thing. But you gotta start now to get stuff later on. And same with our gardens. The raised bed gardens aren't doing that great this year. But we'll amend them more and more each year and make the soil better and better. And each year we'll get more and more food. So it's something you gotta keep in mind and give yourself a little bit of perspective. You're not gonna have the best garden the first year or the second year. And it's okay. It's nothing you did. It takes time. Trust me. You need to add more poo to it and that takes time. Even the corn took it hard the other day with all the rain we got. But we got a few ears of corn started, which is nice. Our carrots look beautiful. Another thing you need to remember is you gotta find out what works good for you, your area, and your growing season. So us being up in northern New Hampshire, we have a lot easier time growing grass and animals as we do with plants and vegetables. It's just the climate we're in. We're in zone 4B, so we, our season starts pretty late. we have gotta be able to grow awesome food and more food each and every year as we get to amend our soils and brush up on all of our techniques and learn what works best for us and what varieties we need. And that's gonna happen for you too. Just be patient with yourself. It's hard, I know, it's easy to get discouraged, but don't get discouraged, it's worth it. I'm telling you, we got so much other stuff that's happening this year that's been really fun and great here. We got all the animals growing, the vegetable garden might not be doing what we wanted to do on every crop, but everything is working beautifully. Don't give up. And then if you're doing a big project like an outdoor kitchen, you gotta be taking time away from your other projects, whether it's your garden or your animals. But this is gonna last years and it's gonna be so nice to have this and it's gonna make everything much easier for processing all of the stuff we grow and raise here. Here we go.
We have four little cute babies. We have four cute little Icelandic chicks over here. And let's go check and see the incubator. It's just tiny little puff balls. Camera shy? There you go. And then in the incubator, one more hatched out last night. We're leaving them in there, letting them drying off. So we've got five to hatch. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to have all the heavy lifting parts done of the outdoor kitchen. <laughs> Feels good to have that part done. It'll be nice once the roof's on there. We don't have to worry about rain anymore. Nice little place to go run and hide if we need to and do projects under. But there's a lot of stuff still going on here. The season's not over yet. We're going to have a lot of more fun. Plenty of stuff to keep us busy. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it. It's really helping the channel grow. And we're thinking about doing a weekly or bi-weekly newsletter from Lumna Acres. If that's something you guys would be interested in, leave it in the comments down below and let us know what you think. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.